great experience. As Microsoft states, it built for cloud services. And with that, they have some different programs. What we're going to focus on in this training, in this video, is the Microsoft Customer Agreement for Enterprise, or the MCAE. The claim here is that you have a faster purchasing and a flexible customer-centered commerce platform instead of the more static or lacking functionality of the enterprise agreement. And Microsoft has some pillar points that they call out on the Microsoft customer agreement, like one streamlined digital agreement, only sign one agreement instead of all the different documents that you have in the enterprise agreement contract stack, like an MBSA, an enterprise agreement, an enterprise enrollment, customer price sheet, etc., etc., etc. There's a flexible billing account structure. This is something that I have very high hopes for because in the enterprise agreement, the billing structure is very inflexible you have one contract you can link one tenant to it you get one bill for all your services and with the uh, MCA the premise is that you can split it out in any way you want per department per tenant per however you want to have that invoiced you can set that up to your liking it's supposedly intuitive and customizable uh, the invoices of Microsoft are always a headache especially if you are familiar with the enterprise agreement you know how much of an effort this can be for an organization you get many different invoices uh, it's hard to make sense of how that translates to your price sheet it's it's a mess and um, what i've seen so far of the microsoft customer agreement is that it's very nice customizable easy to read easy to split makes a lot of sense the independent affiliate purchasing terms can be included in the MCA. That means that if you have affiliates that need to do their own purchasing, you can easily separate those from the main agreement. It also ties into the billing aspect of things. For instance, in the MCA, you had the option to add multiple tenants, but there was an additional billing contract that you needed to set up in order to link that tenant. Um, but the billing at the end of the day still went to the lead enrollment so they called it a billing contract but the bill didn't go to that affiliate entity it still went to the main entity with the mca and you have a lot more options here so you can centralize purchasing power but you can decentralize the, the purchasing options and finally simplified tenant management i've not had a demo of this yet but it looks promising where you can easily add multiple tenants to the same contract and then manage those all from one uh, dashboard if that is necessary or required so if we look at in this slide we've shown before if we look at how microsoft envisions their purchasing uh, towards the future they want to move away from having separate contracts and vehicles where you can purchase under and rather have everything available as an offer and you as an end customer can decide how you want to purchase that so what this means is you set up an agreement and then within that agreement you get to decide how and when and where and from who you want to buy and microsoft allows multiple different aspects here first self-service through the website of Microsoft. So you go to the website, you purchase, and you can do that under the contract that you have set up. Second, Microsoft customer-led, meaning directly from Microsoft, if that's of interest to you. So that way you buy from a Microsoft sales representative and you have that direct billing and invoicing relationship. And lastly, through partners, noticeably through the uh, cloud solution provider program and the next generation volume licensing so the nce contract is that next generation for volume licensing for csp is already built on the microsoft customer agreement stack which means that if you're already purchasing through csp you're already a little bit familiar with the mca agreement so the microsoft customer agreement makes this possible you decide as an end customer where you want to buy and how you want to buy 
So it gives you a single set of offers. It gives you one agreement that all end customers and partners shine. Customers can buy through whatever channel that you choose. So even different products, you can split out over the different channels if that makes sense to you. So you want committed offers to go through the Microsoft LED program, but you want to have the flexibility to also purchase certain items through a partner because they build a managed service around it. That's all possible. And that agreement should be more easy to sign and read and set up.